today we've got a ping player's iron comparison. The new I-59 against the iron it's replacing the iBlade. How are they different? How are they similar? Thomas will hit some shots. We'll use TrackMan to identify the differences. Golfers, if you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We've got a ton more club comparisons coming for you. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka in the Tour Van today. Two irons to compare from Ping. Players irons, the I-59, which is brand new in 2021. Uh, I know we're both very impressed with it. Against the I-Blade, which is kind of the iron it's replacing in the Ping iron lineup now, where it's right in that kind of player's cavity sort of uh, you know spot in the, in the lineup. So. I-59, I-Blade, we've got both heads right here. Um, what do you think we'll see from this test? I really not sure. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I, these, uh, these irons, I mean, the I-Blade, it took a long time for them to replace it. And ping generally take a little longer than the manufacturers. Yeah. Because they believe their stuff so good they don't need to replace it with and anything better. They kind of are right about that. <laughs> they are right about that, yes. Uh, but as we know, the I-59 is a little bit pricier. At second swing, you can also find eye blades at mm -hmm. a little lower price as yeah. well. Oh yeah. So then you can no longer custom order the eye blades, but we yeah. still have plenty of different used options mm -hmm. there too. Which so we, we can customize those too as well in in store here. So that's another option that you have if you're trying to get that eye blade set customized for your swing. But as you say, the new custom orders for tour van fittings, i 59s we got to find out the differences today. Yeah, we're just trying to find out. Is there a huge difference? Are they, are they similar? Or is the new I-59 just so much better that you should absolutely play it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, there's that, again, that's gonna be player dependent, of course, but um, I think just by looking at the appearance, I think they've certainly improved that. Uh, the appearance that I-59 is a very clean look. Um, and then, you know, there's also some new technology in there that we'll talk about. But in terms of the shots, in terms of the golf shaft, um, how are we gonna conduct this test today? Just like usual, testing with the same golf shaft that I play with, Project X LZ 6.5, 125 grams. Um, we'll do two rounds. We'll start out with, say, the iBlade or the i59, hit four mm -hmm. or five shots with that, follow it up with the other club head. We'll come back and hit another round more with the uh, Pro V1X golf ball, and we'll see if there's any big differences or if there's a lot of similarities. All right. Thomas, looks like you've got iBlade to start with here. Um, put that one down to the dress and give me kind of your, your first take on that. Um, you know, maybe compare it to kind of other players, cavity irons, you know, how does that one look? Yeah, so I mean, comparing it to say the other ping irons, I've always thought the iBlade is a smaller brother to the i210. Okay. So yeah, it's closer to a, a blade. It's not like a full on blade, say like the, the blueprint, for example, mm -hmm. which is very small. Right. But it, it's, it's, a forgiving blade is how mm. I would think of it. Okay, okay, interesting. Well, the iBlade is, you know, like you mentioned, the i210 is also both of those irons, iBlade and i210, have that kind of elastomer uh, material in the cavity, which has been el eliminated and not in the i59. So something maybe to monitor there in terms of feel and performance. But um, all right, iBlade, let's start hitting some shots here. We'll see what Trackman says. All right. A little more visible draw there than the other irons we were hitting. Right. That was a miss hit. Really? Yeah, the spin rate dropped a little bit on that. It did. Um, Just a little toy. That was all. Interesting. Good miss hit. Yeah, that shot was interesting. I feel like it was going to stay to the right, but it, it still wanted just, to work its way just back. Just peeled back left. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to want to draw for me, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely does. Look at those four shots here on the table, and then we'll look at bring up that dispersion. You did see the one here that you said you maybe didn't quite catch perfect. That spin dropped a little bit. Um, but 183.2 is your average carry right now. 189 is the total on average. So 
Um, what do you think? Four shots in with the eye blade. It's a blade, but it's fairly forgiving for sure. I feel like I, I definitely got away with that second shot. That second shot, mm -hmm. I noticed my attack angle. Once again, when I hit up on the ball with an iron, it's never going to be good. So if you look at those other three shots there, you notice the negative number in front, and that one you see, don't see that negative number. That was just a bad swing. Yeah. And you can see the spin rate dropped by about 600 RPMs on that by catching a little on, on the toe side. Right. But Which, kudos to Ping. I mean, they have a player's iron that's, you know, a few years old now. You miss hit a, a shot you were hitting up on the club. Uh, still, you know, you, that the spin was affected, sure, but look at the dispersion on the left. It's kind of staying right in, you know, it fits right in with the rest right. of them. So. Yeah, and I, there was a gentle drawer with every shot too. So yeah. definitely pr pronounced the ability for me to, to draw, which I like to do. Yeah, so I-59 now. New club, do look. Um, we'll see how that com uh, compares, but uh, that's a pretty good bar right there for my blade. All right, let's hit the I-59. So I-59, Thomas, uh, you put that down to the dress now, and how does that compare to I blade after just hitting that one? It, it looks so different, yeah. and it's those grooves. Those mm -hmm. grooves visually looking down at it, and knowing that there's, they're closer together and there's more of them. Yeah. It makes the club just look so different. It's it, just a completely different visual that you're not really used to. It's a different visual, that's for sure. It is. A, it's a unique, you know, approach there by Ping. You know, they're trying to make it as consistent as possible. So basically trying to, um, you know, improve the interaction of the ball on the club face with the grooves and make it more consistent, right? I know their their goal with that approach is to reduce the flyers. Right. Know? So from that sense, you know, obviously we're testing with a perfect lie here on Matt today. But one of those where if the lie's a little bit wonky on you, you can rely on that club face to produce consistent spin still. So interesting there. Um, but in terms of, you know, indoor testing here, we'll see, you know, there's the differences um, that club face could generate too. Yeah, I, I remember testing outside. I was surprised at how much spin these mm -hmm. irons generated. So it was a little bit more than you were used to, I remember. Yeah, so. it would be interesting to see if compared to, say, the eye blade, which has the same amount of loft on it, mm -hmm. if it spins a little bit more because of the the face design. Mm -hmm. That was a little low on the face. Oh. That's all, that's so, and that's why the spin rate kind of went up a little bit. So again, I hit, almost hit up on the bowl again. So, I kind of want to see, I mean, we're not, you got one more shot yet, but there's the, uh, I mean, you lost how many yards of carry there? Not a lot. Not a so lot, yeah. That was a higher spin today, 62, 63. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure you gained some spin there. That was a better swing. Yeah. That one, okay, see the spin was over 6,000 on that one. Yeah, that was definitely spun a little bit more. So I want to bring up numbers here and table. And, and so for four shots in with each, now I know there wasn't, uh, the, the, you had one, you kind of caught low on the face and one maybe that was a tiny, tiny, tiny bit fat maybe that kind of dropped the spin on the eye blade, but. Yep. We're seeing that extra spin with the I-59. Um, I mean, what, are, what else are you taking away from the first four shots here, Thomas, looking at this, uh, this information? Well, I'm looking at that left screen. I'm seeing those three yellow dots all very, very close together. Yes. So that, that stands out. Obviously, there's that one I missed a little bit short right. right. Um, but otherwise, those three very, very close together. Which those like. three shots are you know, within a 15-foot kind of very narrow rectangle of each other. Um, so, you know, we've got... We have more shots to hit here, but I think the, the theory that the I-59 will spin a little bit more, probably, you know, off to, uh, I guess, a good start in the sense that it looks like that might be correct. Right. Um, you know, I will say it's interesting to note that the distance is a little bit different, and that's partly because of this one here, but um, we're cu curious to see how that changes or if it changes here with uh, four more shots with each one. Yeah, hit a few more. Maybe we'll be able to take one outlier out. Yeah, we can do that. Like a good swing. It's another one that's right next to those other three. Oh. 
see if that one comes back. Oh yeah. Uh, barely. <laughs> it did. I think you're, you gotta be right on the line. <laughs> I gotta see for myself. Oh, uh, just geez, right. Geez, look at five of those <laughs> shots. Right next to each other. Just a little bit left of those other ones. A little bit left as well. Not bad. All right. Um, so we've got eight total now with the I-59. Um, you know, we got five of them like right next to each other here. Right. And then we also see that spin kind of continue to go up a little bit now. So 59.35 on average, 179.9 carry, which I know is right in your wheelhouse, 185 total. You could probably take that one short one out now. Yeah, Keep we can the probably seven. Do that. That's probably that's kind that of the outlier, outlier here. That was the one. Um, so we'll go like that. And then we'll see how that circle changes. And boom, you see that distance consistency there. Left um, to right consistency, which is, which is good. Yeah. 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 So kind of, I mean, and this is a player's iron. So they're built for players that hit the center of the face most of the time. Um, and as long as you do that, you can kind of trust how far that club's going to go. Um, based on the dispersion circle that I-59 has kind of generated for you here, that's, that's really impressive. Right, and now I've got four more shots with the eye blade. I've already got seven shots up there. That dispersion circle can only probably get a little bit larger unless I put mm -hmm. four like right in the middle. So yeah. consistency with this I-59 so far is looking pretty promising. Mm -hmm. So coming back after hitting one more here with the eye blade, what I definitely notice, the eye blade looks longer from heel to toe. Okay. While the I-59 looks taller from the bottom to the top of the club head. Okay. okay. I think visually so yeah. those grooves help with that there too. But I definitely notice heel to toe, this club head just looks a little bit larger mm -hmm. profile. Okay. Interesting. That one seemed like it launched really high. I hit it. I feel like I hit it pretty solid. All right, so Thomas, we have 14 shots up there now. We took out one from each club to get the seven best shots. You know, walk me through this, um, break them down. Uh, tell me what these differences are and what you notice out of this test. Yeah, let's first start with the dispersion pattern. I always like to see where the ball mm -hmm. ends up. So what I can notice here is this dispersion pattern, it's almost like it's two little sub-circles to look at. So if you take a look at the right side, you've got three white dots and you've got five yellow dots. Mm -hmm. So I like the fact that there's five yellow dots a little closer to yeah. the center. We look at the four white dots and you've got the two yellow dots. And you can see that even the furthest left yellow dots not as far as the, the white dots. So mm -hmm. if we're looking purely on dispersion alone, the I-59 may have just kind of just snuck it out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can see that circle was just a little bit smaller from north to south. So the consistency was just a little bit tighter. Yeah. I mean, and to be fair, we are, this is nitpicking at its finest because right. both of those, I mean, if we're talking about the, you know, north to south dispersion, both of those are excellent. I mean, just elite. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but it's a little bit better with I-59 and there's, I think, a reason for that. We talked about some of the, the differences in the, you know, the grooves, but you're right. You've got five here that are, I mean, feet away from each other right here. There's actually one that is on the center line. It's actually one of my uh, eye blade on the line too. Yep. Um, but you got three, four hovering right on the center line here out of this, the seven up on the screen. So that is super impressive from I-59. Well, let's take a look at the numbers and see if we notice any differences. Well, my club speed, 92.6 with both of them. So. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a, a very accurate test. Uh, iBlade was going just a little bit further with a little bit less spin, is what we're saying. 
Yeah, pretty much. You got a little bit more ball speed out of the eye blade on the shots hit. This will maybe a little bit more efficient strike, um, which is interesting because you got, you know, we talked about it on the map, a little bit more efficient strike maybe with eye blade. However, you had the I-59 dispersion was a little bit smaller. So right. something to note there that despite maybe not quite hitting it as solid, your shots are still more accurate. Um, yeah, my uh, my face angle was 0.4 degrees clo more close with the eye blade, which is probably going to lead to a slightly further left shot, which mm -hmm. is going to increase that efficiency smash factor number just by mm -hmm. just by a touch. Okay. But I mean, we're we're trying to find we're trying to nitpick right yeah. here, and it's really hard to. Yeah, I mean, one thing too, we we mentioned that we kind of predicted spin would be higher with i59. That is um, higher you know, and consistently higher and yeah, and consistently higher. Yes. So that part is, you know, not a surprise distance wise. You know, this isn't a contest for distance, you know, with these irons, right. we're not trying to hit the ball far, um, but worth noting, you know, two yards of separation on carry distance here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very, very similar and very similar little ways. I think visually at a, appearance wise, you will notice the difference with the I-59. Mm -hmm. It definitely, it looks taller and with the extra grooves on there, it does look different. It's, it's there for a reason. It's good consistency yeah. acro across the board and I think it, it helped today. Mm -hmm. I think it certainly does and I think it will help a lot of golfers as they, you know, a lot of these better players that are trying to figure out, um, you know, trying to find consistency when they hit a shot with an iron, know what's going to happen. They can trust that number. They can trust that shot shape and I think that's what ping had in mind when they made the I-59 irons. And in our testing, you know, in the initial swing report video, it was, um, we tested with Michael and myself, and we saw the same thing. I mean, it was, whether you maybe hit it a little bit low on the face, maybe you hit it a little bit fat, whatever, you know, that number kind of stays there. And then of course, that shot shape that you create is still there as well and very consistent, so. Yep. And I think you, you can't forget that the eye blade, it's very, very close. So oh, yeah. budget-wise, I mean, as I mentioned, I-59 right. is going to be a little bit more. If you're looking to save a little, we do have iBlade used clubs in stock at mm -hmm. Second Swing. So it's a, it's a great option. As, as you mentioned earlier in the video, we can also custom order these. We can bend them. We can, uh, we can clean them up, put different grips on them as, as well, yeah. and get you fit. Um, whatever we need to do to make the clubs work for that particular player. Absolutely. So that's, that's the thing. You know, if there's golfers trying to get the absolute you know, the, the newest and greatest player's iron in their bag, I-59, you know, you're willing to spend a little bit more uh, money. I-59, you can see today in a couple of areas, maybe a little bit more of a, of a better performer, but I blade certainly, you know, not to be forgotten. And, you know, our selection of those is, is pretty massive. A lot of sets out there and we can customize those and you can come in and kind of do a used fitting for them and get, put those in your bag as well. So a lot of good stuff here from Ping. Uh, they got an eye blade you know, from four or five years ago that still competes really well with today's technology. We also got the I-59 as we saw, just super consistent across the board. So two great options here, depends on what you're looking for, your budget, your swing, and um, ultimately, you know, you can come in and figure that out for yourself, work with a second swing team member and we'll help you out. So Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today, breaking everything down, um, really good test. Here. Not a problem. And also viewers, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already.